Hey guys, let's use Autodesk Fusion 360 CAD CAM software to machine this AR15 inspired slingshot wireframe on my CNC vertical milling machine. G'day, my name's Aaron and you're watching the Design, Creativity and Technology channel. Okay guys, before I get into the camming of this Y-frame uh, bracket today for my little AR slingshot design, I'd like to show you where I got these ideas from. I based my design off the Titan uh, AR15 grip here from Titan Designs, and uh, I suggest you follow them on Instagram, they have some really good posts. For the actual Y-frame for the slingshot, I, I like this design from the uh, slingshot forum. It sort of reflected a little bit of a, like a Batman slingshot, so uh, I was sort of drawn to that. So that's the one I based my design off. And of course today for the work holding methods, guys, using the uh, painter's tape, the blue painter's tape and the super glue, uh, that idea I got off uh, John Saunders' channel, so uh, the cheap CNC fixtures. So I suggest you go and have a look at that video. It explains it in detail. Okay, so let's get started here today, guys. So I've got my Y-frame here that I've drawn. Now I've actually got two designs. I've got a bigger one and a smaller one if you want to call it uh, his and hers. So uh, here we go guys, for my setup today, you can see oh, where I've got my uh, G54, my work offset set up here. And these are just scrap pieces of aluminium that I got from my um, supplier. All right, so let's, uh, let's take a look at these. I'm gonna come straight over the top of this today with my good old trusty 50 mil shell mill. So my next strategy is the boring cycle with the um, three mil end mill. Then I'm going to come around, guys, with a 6mm end mill and just be conservative on this. And my depth of cuts will be 1mm, of course. 6mm, uh, as you know, guys, is just slightly under a quarter of an inch. And 1mm step downs. And I'm leaving stock to leave on this so I can come back around uh, with another cleanup pass, so a full depth cleanup pass right on the money and repeat that cleanup pass just to make sure I get everything there. I'm then going to do a 2D chamfer and come around and chamfer that part and give it about a half, so 0.5 of a millimetre chamfer and clean up all those holes. Alrighty guys, uh, let's go to the machine. I've got to cut some stock first. Uh... So guys, I've um, got my jaws set up backwards here in the vise so I can cramp a wider piece. But as you can see here guys, I really it's time I buy a band so I really need one. Okay guys, so once you've got your stock cut, of course you've got to face it, and you see my facing cycle was a little bit nasty there because I didn't. I, I was trying to film, I didn't want to use too much coolant because it was splattering around on the camera. So you need to give it a really good clean uh, with some thinners. Now once it's cleaned with thinners, guys, you can start applying this blue painter's tape. Now I opted for the more expensive brand, the 3M brand, and uh, it roughly cost me about $14 Australian a roll over here. Now make sure that you don't overlap these, uh, that you join your pieces right on the line. I then used some Loctite primer and sprayed it gently on a tissue and just rubbed it over that painter's tape. Uh, make sure I clean the surface. Now of course I had to repeat this on the opposite side as well in the machine uh, and then spread the Loctite 401 over it as well. So what I'm going to do now guys, I'm going to pick this part up, I'll stop talking and, you, and I'll take over from another camera. Okay, so um, I've had this weight on here, I've, I've uh, prepared both surfaces and I've shoved this weight on here to allow a bit of uh, even pressure to allow the super glue to, do, uh, to harden, to go off. So uh, I'll lift that up now and show you. This is a little cast iron surface plate that my good friend Peter Pilby reconditioned for me. If you haven't seen old Pete, check him out, Machining Tips and Trips with Peter Pilby. He hasn't posted a video for a while. That's probably because I haven't shot one for him. But yeah, he did a really good job of that. So hopefully, guys, this has gone off, this super glue, and uh, we'll give it a try, eh? Fingers crossed.
Well, let me tell you, that stuck like, yeah, you know what, to a blanket. Friggin' excited, how cool is that? Well there we have it guys, two fully completed AR-15 inspired slingshots, designed in Fusion 360 and CNC machine from billet aluminium stock. I'm really satisfied with the finished product and both models exceeded my expectations, fully meeting their design brief. Let's test fire them tonight using a 6mm nylock nut. Thank you all so much for watching and for your continual support of my channel. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up and share it across other platforms. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell. Remember, keep spinning those bits and ripping chips, and I'll catch you on the next video. Cheers.